Lance Kellerman, and welcome to this just in a fast hour around the world of sports and how I see it. And we, res- we begin with the return of Brooklyn's finest. Kevin Durant is expected to return tonight against the Heat after missing a month and a half because of a sprained MCL. KD hadn't played since January 15th. His Nets went 5-16 and 16 in his absence. Here is KD. I don't look at myself as that, as a savior, um, but I know what I can do and how much I can help this team and what we're missing as a group. Um, but I'm not trying to go out there and win the game by myself tonight or make it all about me. I just try to go out there and, and help and be a good teammate and do what I do. I know what I bring to the table and you know try to do it to the best of my abilities. That's reporter Nick Friedel was at shoot around right across the river this morning and joins me now. Nick, I- I hear, I hear KD. He's a hooper, right? He just and he'd be, he'd make any team in the history of basketball better. He doesn't need the ball. He does everything right. He can score like crazy, whether he's the focal point or not. So I, I hear what he's saying. What have you observed about the attitude about his return and the whole savior <laughs> thing around the team? That's all they feel like, Max. The, his teammates know how good he is, and they know when he's on the floor, everything changes and they're going to be that much better. And for all the optimism that had been let out of the balloon the other day when they heard the mayor's comments about Kyrie, the fact that Kevin is now back and he's feeling like himself and he knows he can go on the floor and dominate makes everybody in that building and on that floor tonight know, okay, we're ready to start the push going into the last six weeks of the regular season. Yeah, as great as Embiid has been in Jokic and every, you know, there are lots of great players in the league, But I think over the last year or so, there is a consensus that the torch has been passed as best player in the world from LeBron to KD when he's on the floor. But how much will he be on the floor? Is he on a minutes restriction first game back? Not really. They're going to talk to him the whole night, but they're going to let him set the tone. And they know that he wants to play 30, 35 minutes somewhere in there. Of course, they're going to be more cautious because he hadn't played in a month and a half. But Max, you know this just as well as I do. Kevin Durant sets a tone for everything in that organization. If KD wants to be on the floor and play a little more tonight, that's what he's going to do, and that's what they're expecting. Yes, sir, Mr. Durant. How many minutes would you like to play? (laughs) Exactly. Um, When can we expect to see Ben Simmons back? Because I felt like ain't no way he's playing in Philly, right? And that tells you something about how at least many basketball fans think about Simmons now. And then as soon as that game's over, his back will be magically healed. What do you know about it? The issue is a little more serious, I think, than they thought. I watched him in Milwaukee on Saturday night. He's walking around in one of those contraptions that's getting some stim in the back. I think he's a couple more weeks away at least. And I know there was a lot of focus on that Philly game, and everybody thought, okay, well, let's just rip the Band-Aid off and see how it goes. Now that that's kind of gone and not a possibility, they're going to be really, really cautious because they're not just hoping that he comes back this year and plays well. They're hoping that they have him in the right mind space of what's going on. And I think that was crucial this morning. KD said, I haven't been able to work with him a lot because he's still doing a lot of individual work, hadn't been cleared for practice. But Max, he said, this seems like a really happy guy. He seems like he's in a good place. Drummond said the same thing the other day. So they know that Simmons is feeling good, and they know when he gets healthy, he'll be in the right space to play really well again quickly. When Simmons is right, he's one of the most spectacular shows in sports, and he great two-way player except he doesn't shoot but even without the shooting he's an amazing player hopefully he is right thank you Nick the Nets who by the way were preseason favorites to win the title are nine games back of the Miami Heat for the one seed in the east they are currently eighth and are currently given a 91 percent chance to be part of the play-in tournament per the per NBA uh, BPI yeah listen the Nets are all, the Nets are healthy. They're gonna be just fine. Joined now by the one and the only Kendrick Perkins. Perk, first of all, don't start this show by scowling at me. I want to see a big smile when you come on this show. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> mean mugging me off the top of the show. Perk, how does KD? How does the role change post Harden Simmons trade? Well, for 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 Kevin Durant, he's gonna go back to. That point forward position, the 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 role that he was playing when K, when James Harden and Kyrie Irving wasn't playing when he was going on that tap for the Brooklyn Nets, and he's gonna have to be a guy not only to get buckets but facilitate and make plays for for others. But here's the thing, Max, I'm a little bit concerned 
For the simple fact that in his, in his interview, KD said it's still soreness there. So that mm -hmm. goes to show me that it's almost to the point where he has to play because of mm -hmm. the situation that the Brooklyn Nets mm -hmm. is in. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what type of KD we get out. That is yeah, persuasive tonight. analysis. It does. that uh, Connect the dots. That's right, Perk. Um, by the way, Simmons created, I keep talking about it, more open looks from three than any player while he was on the since he entered the league, right? So when you look at the shooters on the Nets, mm -hmm. couldn't he – you say he could pe play point forward, but Simmons could just play point guard or whatever you want to call it, right, with KD and Kyrie and eventually Joe Harris and Seth Curry. They could do that too, right, Perk? Yeah, they can, but when is Ben Simmons going to play, Max? That's the yep. question. Like, like we, we talk about the importance of this part of the season. It's, it's, it's 20 games or less – and we still haven't seen Ben Simmons play in seven months. And so you still have to not only worry about his confidence, but you have to worry about the workload on his legs and, and get back into NBA form because you will work out as much as you want individually, but nothing gets you in basketball shape like playing basketball. So, and so the game is faster, the, the speed is faster, so those all those things matter. When are we going to see him? That's so, what I got to so, ask you, Max. Right. Okay. So let's do you think, given the information you have now, given the mandates are still there with Kyrie going to play half the games at this moment, given what you just said about Simmons and KD, will they have enough time in your estimation today at this moment? Do you think they have enough time to get it together before the playoffs? No, they don't. No, they don't. And, and they better be lucky if they get into the playoffs. And I say that to say this. When you look at what's going on for us, the play-in tournament, Max, we saw last year when Memphis shocked the world and beat the Golden State Warriors to get in. It could be one of those nights. And when you're dealing with a team like the Atlanta Hawks that have a, a electrifying superstar caliber player in Trey Young that could light you up for 50 and take control of a game, you got to be worried. When you're looking at the Charlotte Hornets, who are also right now in the play-in tournament, all those electrifying players from LaMelo Ball to, uh, to Miles Bridges to – uh, you know, if Gordon Haywood gets back, you know, the additional Montrez Harrell. Like, if you look at that situation just itself, I mean, the Brooklyn Nets, you know, they're, they're right in the middle of a, of, a, of, of the fire just like the Los Angeles Lakers are right now. They better hope to get into the playoffs. We're talking Perk about spitting. getting into the playoffs and making noise. Perk spitting hot fire as always, even though the, the look on the face can be mm -hmm. friendlier sometimes. Thank you, Big Perk. <laughs> and now to the NFL for an even bigger star than KD, who's starting to sound to me like his return may not be that far off. Tom Brady, who announced his retirement last month, appeared on the Fred Couples show on Sirius XM, and the former Pats and Bucks quarterback was asked about what he is planning next, and listen to this. I wish I had a, a, a clear vision of what the future holds. But I think for me, there's a lot of great things ahead and a lot of great opportunities. I know I said right after football season, I was looking forward to spending time with my family. And I've done that the last five weeks. And I know there'll be a lot more of that, too. So looking forward to that. Looking forward to some golf uh, in the next few days and some more family time. And then we'll figure out where we go from there. <laughs> Joined now by Sam Ocho and from the combine, Lewis Riddick. <laughs> Lewis, I mean, this dude plays some golf, saw the family. Uh, I mean, uh, do those comments from Brady, are, 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 is that something or nothing, Lou? Look, I, I, I'm just going to say right now I think it's nothing, all right? Just simply because I don't think that Tom is the kind of guy 